We moved down to this site about 10 years ago and I think have been contemplating a major redevelopment for much of that time. We were very aware that people were not really understanding what our collections are about. We needed to do something about transforming the way they were interpreted and displayed. To connect the ideas about the countryside and the people of the countryside with people of today. Well, we made the museum much more accessible to a younger and more diverse audience. We have objects on display such as the founder of Glastonbury's wellies to show how festivals made wellies a fashion item. We've been working on development of interactive displays that are engaging and exciting for our visitors. They're a really good way of getting people to explore things like where their food comes from. We produce this cow which you can talk to. It produces smells and it has various uh, tactile additions that you can stick onto it. We're here in one of the new galleries that is particularly good at reflecting the work of craftspeople, writers and artists and their attempts to reflect and capture the lives and work of ordinary people uh, in the English countryside. This is a bacon hanger which would have been hung in a butcher's shop. We get people to come in and pick up objects and feel the texture and the weight. We've chosen older objects that help us address contemporary issues such as the food we eat, the environment and the ways in which we use and think about the countryside in the modern period. We were looking for the opportunity for our sixth formers to experience history outside the classroom. Two of the girls who did this label are now reading history at university which is very pleasing. I was asked if I could make a coat for a sheep. So that's where we started. The children seem to love it and people like to stroke it, so I think we've done what we intended to do. This extraordinary piece of wall hanging was conserved in the galleries so the public could learn about the work that museums like this do to help preserve collections in their care. Uh, today I'm volunteering for Friday Fledglings and it's a new activity for under fives. So we have a mud area, a water area and there's also a little model farm and they can try on hats. It's just a fantastic place to explore and learn about farming. We need to put people at the centre of, of rural history and I think that's one of the things that Merle has really succeeded in doing. And I think that's really come through very well in the new displays. 